The Honourable Member for Wolseley. Thank you, Madam Speaker. I uh, recently had the pleasure of uh, having a phone conversation uh, with a, uh, a local uh, green uh, entrepreneur, Order. someone who uh, came to this province to uh, create green jobs uh, for uh, local Manitobans. I'd like to table one of the comments he shared with me for the House's uh, benefit. He said, quote, in less than a week, Manitoba will go from the best province in Canada for solar energy to the worst. That quote comes from Mr. Riley Unger, spokesperson for Living Skies Solar Inc. I wonder if this government has any answer to Mr. Unger and the hundreds of other people working in the solar industry right now where this government is about to kill their industry outright. Right. Well, thank you very much, uh, Madam Speaker. And, uh, just for the uh, members' uh, information, Power Manitoba Hydro entered into a uh, program uh, regarding solar energy. In fact, that uh, program was uh, quite successful, in fact, uh, oversubscribed uh, by the tune of about 700 percent. So wow. certainly a lot of Manitobans are benefiting from that particular pilot program. And Madam Speaker, that's exactly what it was, a pilot program. Well, only the Pallister government could look at a fantastic success story like that and decide to kill it. <laughs> the the other very concerning thing about this, Madam Speaker, is the message from this government may not line up with the truth when it comes to the future of solar energy in Manitoba. This minister and others have said repeatedly that Efficiency Manitoba, which does not exist, has no board, has no budget, has no staff, is somehow going to make a decision at some point in time on what to do about solar energy. Can the minister tell me how many times the word solar appears in the legislation that created Efficiency Manitoba? Wow. Well, well, thank you very much, Madam Speaker. I think the member knows we're in transition to Efficiency Manitoba, and hopefully he did read that legislation. And that legislation talks about uh, Efficiency Manitoba, in fact, the government of Manitoba, consulting with Manitobans. There's uh, legislation around stakeholder involvement. So Efficiency Manitoba and the government of Manitoba will be consulting with stakeholders as it moves forward in developing programs. Well, I feel kind of bad about doing this. Here's where the shoe drops for the minister. Solar energy, the word solar, is not mentioned even once in the Efficiency Manitoba legislation. How on earth can this minister and this government go around to the solar industry and say there will be a decision made by Efficiency Manitoba about the very future of the great work that you are doing, the great jobs that you are creating, the Manitobans that you are supporting, when there is no mandate for solar energy work under the legislation this government brought in on Efficiency Manitoba. I brought in an amendment which would have switched that, but the government did not even listen to the amendment. They voted it out of hand. This government is misleading the solar industry in saying they have the mandate to make the decisions. The member's time they has expired.